Hello everyone. This video is going to be covering how to realign the crosshairs of our dado. So what I suggest is that we get a post-it note, a pen, or any other paper that is suitable, because it tends to be the easiest thing for us. So I put the smallest size dot on my machine. Or not on my machine, my, my piece of paper. So here's here's a, a larger dot, here's a, a, a small one. This is ideal so that it's small enough that we can always put it in the center of the crosshair. As you can see, I'm out of focus and when I bring, I'm resting near the bottom of the well chamber or the floor of it, and when I bring it towards the lens vertically, it comes into focus. If I go too far, it also goes out of focus. So we want to make sure that it's right in focus when we're doing this test. The next thing that we're going to need is the three millimeter Allen key that came with our machine in order to adjust the crosshairs. So referencing our guide that came with the welder, we're going to be on the back side and it's labeled pointing cross alignment example. Now we're going to be referencing these images on here in the video so that it'll be easy to follow. Now as we look at step four we're going to enter the well chamber looking up towards the roof of the chamber and we're going to see screw A and screw B as it's oriented. Screw A is going to be in charge of our up and down movement and screw B is going to be in charge of our left and right movement. Now that we understand that, we're going to make our initial shot. So we're going to line up that dot, and then we're going to make one weld. As you can see, my dot is going to be up and to the right. We need to reference our diagram on our sheet and utilize screw A in order to make that adjustment. Once we do screw A's adjustment, we're going to then do screw B's adjustment. I suggest making big adjustments at first so that you can understand which direction the screw is in charge of as far as left and right, up and down. After we've made a large adjustment, almost a full turn, I'm going to line that dot up again, dead center that I did with my pen, and make another shot. In my case, I rotated it clockwise, so you can see that my second and third shot after I made two separate adjustments moved it upwards. So I'm going to have to make that adjustment going counterclockwise to bring that dot coming down. As you can see, my fingers are in the weld chamber making these adjustments as I'm looking through the eyepiece. As long as your fingers are out of the way, you will be just fine making these adjustments. It's important that we focus on single direction adjustments, meaning focus on your vertical adjustments and once you have that correct, then focus on your horizontal adjustments. We're going to continue making adjustments until we get to a point where that dot starts getting closer and closer to our center crosshair. Now that I've done it left and right, repeating the steps that before mentioned, we can see that that spot is landing dead center on our crosshair. If you have more questions or need further assistance, please reach out to us. Also, check out our YouTube channel. We're constantly releasing new content that can be helpful to you and your projects. Thank you for watching.